Hey everyone, it's uh, currently in the middle of winter and as you can see it is actually it is snowing so you're probably wondering what the hell am I doing outside at night in the snow in the sloppy wet stuff well truth is because I have to show a moth of course which is the only reason I ever come outside and they are very unique moths they don't mind the cold at all actually they are one of the most cold resistant insects cold resistant moths I know of so let me show them they're outside in a cage during snowfall during winter during frost and they don't care hang on I have to open the cage for one second so I can film them yes here they are maybe you know them um, these are actually very 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 rare insects um, they are an endemic moth that only lives around the slopes of one volcano in Italy it is known as the Acantobramaea europaea it's a very pretty moth here you can show you see the wings and it's a very very rare endemic species because actually the habitat of this species is very small it's literally just one volcano where it occurs and nowhere else in the world just this one volcano in Italy it's an endemic uh, it's an endemic relict species relict species means it's actually a primitive species um, that remained from a long time ago around the ice age like the like the prehistoric fish, the shell account and it basically got, got trapped in one habitat um, the slopes of the Monte Vulture, an Italian volcano where nothing changed since the ice um, age and this explains why these moths are so cold resistant because basically in nature they, they fly in this very cold habitat they fly during snow, during cold and whatever and so yes they'll actually be active and pair at night that's what I'm hoping for and I'm trying to describe the life cycle of this species I'm actually researching them and the conditions they will uh, use to pair in which is of course uh, cold a bit of cold cold nights they prefer it I'd say I'd go as far as say they love it actually um, it's an uh, Embramaea species it's an ancestor of uh, the more modern Bramaea species and well that's just what I wanted to show for today maybe I can take one uh, one outside of the cage here it is very nice pattern very nice to see maybe take another one very cute and tiny I really hope they pair up and produce a lot of caterpillars for me thank you for watching this is on one species I will be researching